I'm going to show you how to do the, um, the PayPal setup. Um, now, because I don't want to log into PayPal and show off too many things, I have some screenshots uh, that I took before um, to show you. Um, so now with PayPal, um, you set up the button in your own PayPal account. Um, so that means all of the revenue goes directly to you. Um, it doesn't go through Quadtrax at all. So you get to keep 100% of that revenue um, except for whatever transaction fees that PayPal charges. Um, and it's, it's pretty easy to set up. Um, you just go in and create the button and then you um, copy and paste the code that PayPal gives you into the splash page editor in the, the HTML view. And then when you're using PayPal or any of the vouchers, um, you're able to roam seamlessly between all of the access points um, in the network and you'll automatically be authenticated um, as you go throughout. So you're not gonna have to enter that voucher code again until, uh, until it expires. All right, so to, to set up PayPal, um, you go log into your PayPal account um, and you need to be set up as a business account. So if you don't already have a business account, uh, you can upgrade your personal account or you can go in and, and create a new account um, for the business. So then you, once you have that business account, you go into profile and settings and then go to my selling tools. And then you set up your website preferences. Uh, so the website preferences here, um, you just go here and click the update button. And then um, it will take you to this page. Um, now we have detailed instructions on how to do this at help.cloudtracks.com um, where you, it'll give you all of the URLs here um, that you need to use. And you can just copy and paste um, these these things into PayPal and then from PayPal into CloudTrax. Um, so you need to turn on auto return and then you need to give it the return URL. Uh, so we provide this for you. Um, it's going to go back to paypal.cloudtrax.com and then um, and then you need to also turn on payment data transfer. Um, once you've turned on payment data transfer, it will give you this identity token. And this identity token is what you'll copy and paste over into CloudTrax. And then once you're in CloudTrax, uh, you go under configure and vouchers. And so right under that lobby assistant um, password that I was showing you, um, it will, um, it, that's where you set up your identity token. Um, this is also where you set up um, the voucher settings um, for PayPal. So what PayPal, um, the, the PayPal integra integration does is that it will automatically create vouchers for you in CloudTrax. And so um, you can choose here how many clients are valid for each one of those vouchers uh, that are created by PayPal. And um, then you can set what download and upload speeds you want that to be uh, for each of those, those PayPal vouchers. Um, and then, then you, who, the customer that, that pays for that will, um, they will be shown the voucher code so they can copy and paste it to be used later on other devices. And they'll also be emailed that voucher. So next you go back, um, you go back into your PayPal settings and you create your button. Um, then you need to choose that it's going to be a buy now button. And then you choose, um, the, the item name. So the item name is going to be internet access. And then the item ID is going to be the net ID. Um, that net ID you get from CloudTrax um, on each of your SSID pages. So it's all the way at the bottom here. Um, there's this PayPal item ID. It's gonna be the net ID and then the SSID number. So this for instance would be um, the net ID 248660 SSID 1. And then you can give it a, a duration. Um, so CloudTrax will automatically parse uh, the language that you put in here. So um, you can set up different prices for different time periods. Um, so you can put in um, uh, a minimum of, uh, of one hour um, all the way up to um, one year. And once they have uh, gone through that checkout process, uh, we'll recognize that whether they purchased um, two hours, one day, one week, or one month, and then create a voucher with that time period. 
So once you have that set up, um, you copy that code and um, go into the edit the splash page. And you go down to the bottom of that um, uh, of the code view in your splash page editor, and you find the comment here. Um, comments in HTML always start with the exclamation ex exclamation mark and do, uh, dash dash, and uh, then uh, it'll say PayPal button start and PayPal button end. Um, so you just delete the, the things here from form the, the form start to the form end and paste in what you got from PayPal. Okay, um, and one more thing I wanted to show you on, um, on uh, PayPal is that you can also set it up as a, as a dual button. Um, so I've already set that up on SSID 3 here and look at the edit splash page. Um, so you can have free access here and um, on this network I have set up here um, the bandwidth throttling is set to uh, 512 kilobytes, which is just barely usable on the modern inter internet. Um, so they're able to clip through um, with a free access and get that really slow speed. Um, but if they wanted to have the faster speed, they can pay for that by going down here and purchasing through PayPal. So we can get that two hours, one day, one week, or one month. and um, then they would have the fast speed um, for that time period. Now, if they change their mind um, and they they wanted they clicked through the free access and then changed their mind later that they wanted faster access, um, what they can do is is type in HTTP colon slash slash logout into uh, into the address bar in their web browser, and then they would be taken back to the splash page here um, with our very nice animated GIF and see that um, they can purchase again. And then once they purchased, then they'll have this, the fast speed um, up until uh, the duration for that they paid for. Now, one caveat there is that once you have authenticated with a voucher, you cannot log out of a voucher. So if, um, if somebody wants to um, log out of that voucher and maybe use a different voucher or uh, they want to try to get an, um, another device onto that um, voucher that they um, if they've maxed out the number of devices and they want to log out one device and log in another. That's not possible right now. Um, so um, keep that in mind that you cannot log out of a voucher. Um, 